Well, now here is more of film critics Chuck Lipinski and Pam Powell's interview with the director of Causeway, starring Jennifer Lawrence. This is a story, I think, that really hits home. It's a common story. Unfortunately, it's a common story yes. um, that so many people are going through and can relate to either individually, personally, or as a family member of someone who's been affected by this. One of the things that I loved that you did is you have um, Brian Tyree Henry as the co-star, if you will, who has gone through his own life's traumas and tragedies and, and wrestling with how to heal from those, both physically and emotionally. Um, you pick an unusual person to play this role. I've only seen him in comedies. I haven't seen him dig in deep and give us this sort of an evocative performance. Um, and I, can you talk a little bit about those parallel lines of healing, recovery, and choosing Brian as the star in this. Sure. Well, what I can tell you is that I've known Brian since I was 19. Oh, wow. Okay. So, so two he's years. An, he's an old, he's perfect. You're perfect. <laughs> yes. In fact, closer to 20. Uh, um, <laughs> but um, he, um, I was in college when, when and where Brian was in drama school. So I first saw him act in the plays of Lanford Wilson and Terrell McCraney, and then I saw him do Shakespeare in the Park when he was right out of college. So I have known for a very long time that Brian is an actor of singular range, depth, magnetism. I think he can do anything. He's a leading man. He's a romantic lead. He's a character actor. He's hilarious. Yes. Um, but a person with tremendous depth of spirit depth of humanity. Um, so I read this script and I thought, um, Brian must play this role. I do not want anyone else to play this role. I was thrilled and humbled that he wanted to be a part of my first movie. Um, and, and, you know, for all of the reasons I articulated, I, I think he's really, again, it's a terrible cliche, but I feel he is the best of his generation. <laughs> um, and also, he is a person of tremendous sensitivity and empathetic imagination. I, I was struck by, I, I found out that this film was made in 2019, and here we are at 2022. Was there problems finding a distributor for this? No. I mean, A24 was on board from the outset, but um, the world had different things in mind and the, right. the planet. Um, you know, <laughs> we, we began principal photography for this film in the summer of 2019. And we had heat waves and flash floods and we managed through that. But then there was a hurricane and we had to evacuate and we had a heart out. Um, so we always knew that we would be coming back, but by the time we had gotten our ducks in a row to come back, it was March of 2020. And mm -hmm. in fact, 24 hours before I was supposed to get on a plane, I think I maybe even checked in, um, <laughs> I got a call that the recently surging global pandemic was shutting down all film production in the United States. And we would then have to wait. Um, until the summer of 2021, until we could all, um, from a kind of scheduling and logistical perspective, and in terms of the surging in the pandemic, mm -hmm. until we could go back. So we completed photography for this film last summer, summer of 2020. But I would say, per your comment about distributor, A24, uh, they have been, um, in light of that, there were plenty of opportunities for them to let this go. <laughs> and they have been unbelievably dedicated, committed, and tenacious partners from the outset in their commitment to me, to this project, and across the various challenges of attempting to complete a film in a pandemic. I love the statement about home. This film has a really powerful statement. I'm going to get a little choked up talking about this because she's got a, a tough life that she left behind. She left it behind for a reason and she comes back home and that is where she needs to heal. Tell me about the power of home. What a beautiful question. Um, what I have found myself thinking about lately with regard to the word home and this movie I think for both of these characters, uh, much of the work of the film has to do with beginning to, certainly just for Lindsay, I'll say this, has to do with beginning to recognize that the obstacles that interfere with your ability to make what we might call progress are not exclusively external, but are also internal. <laughs> and that the process of beginning 
to change, in her case, has a lot to do with beginning to recognize the internal blockages and limitations that might be in her way. I think much of her trajectory in the film has to do with taking what might look like a very small step <laughs> of progress towards beginning to feel more at home in herself, more at ease with herself. And, um, you know, there's a lot of different ideas about home in the movie. Mm -hmm. I think lately I've been thinking about how and when we come to feel at home in ourselves, which, you know, I think has a lot to do with the project of moving towards self-love and acceptance, you know, in the face of all of our frailties. Very good. Thank you for right. that. I appreciate that. And thank you so much for your time. I oh, ditto. Ditto. This is, this is an important film, uh, a, a quietly powerful film. I, I like it because it doesn't have to yell to make its point. So I'm thank so you so much for your work. I really, really appreciate both of you. And, and thank you for your really kind words about the movie.